Hey everybody, how's it going? So a comment that's been showing up more and more often lately is, why are you making these types of videos instead of border pair videos? We want border pair videos back. Where are the border pair videos? And I decided to just kind of look into what it was I was producing, just in case I had kind of lost track. So I decided to scroll through here, and I noticed that in the past month, it looks like I've made... Hey, in the last about 30 days, 18 board repair videos. But one of the things I'm noticing as I look through this list is that a board repair video will typically get less than half the viewership of a cat, of me saying don't use a trash company, me talking about Paul Daniels, uh, literally anything will actually do better than a board repair video. So what this leads me to wonder is, is there something that I am missing? So one of the questions that I have here is, what can I do to make these videos more engaging, more interesting, something that's actually worth watching? Because one of the things I've done is, every time I've gotten this comment saying, I can't believe you don't do board repair videos anymore, this sucks, blah, 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 I want board repair stuff, I'll actually search for their name, and when I search for their name in the comment section, I cannot see their name on any actual board repair videos. They never comment on it, which makes me wonder, do my board repair videos, have they just started to suck so you don't watch them is the is it that youtube doesn't put them in your feed is there something that i can do better because one of the things i mentioned in this video that i did a few years ago is that i don't think that right to repair the real right to repair is going to be legislation i think it's going to be inspiring people to get involved in this field and the way i th i try to inspire people to get involved in this field is by showing them that this is actually something that's interesting that's fun you can take something you know after 5 or 15 minutes of a little bit of detective work and you know problem solving and some uh, puzzle solving skills you can get something to work again and and in addition to the fact that it kind of activates that puzzle solving part of my brain at the end of it I also actually get to get paid and I think if I get enough people involved and interested in what I do that when they grow up and they get positions in management marketing on the board and engineering positions at these businesses like Intercell Apple and so on they're not going to allow anti repair positions to be taken by the companies that they work for though to simply walk out that's what it is that I'm looking to have happen I want to get people excited and engaged in what I do. But when I get comments on the regular basis saying, why don't you make board repair stuff anymore? When, as I see it, it looks like, again, in the last 30 days, it looks like 18 board repair videos, but nobody actually watches them. I do kind of wonder, am I doing something wrong? Is YouTube not putting this stuff in your feed? Or is it just, you know, the first thing that my mind jumps to, perhaps my board repair videos just suck, so you just don't bother watching them anymore. But it is something that I, I do wonder. You know, right here, a new store renovation, three times the views of a board repair video. This is a nasty board. Again, this is a picture of, you know, essentially junky drywall and that has done better. Paul talking about self-leveling concrete has three times the viewership of a board repair video. Me pretending I'm writing a letter to Santa has done two times better than a board repair video. This thing, uh, this video of me in an over, <laughs> overexposed setting about seven or eight years ago talking about Groupon is done better than me showing how a US how to fix a USB port issue. Me saying rambling bike ride over here with a thumbnail of a bus has essentially matched that of a border pair video. Now, I like doing the border pair videos. They're interesting. It's a big part of what I do. It's a big part of what I enjoy teaching, but I do want to figure out if there's a way that I could do them better. So please let me know in the comments down below. If you've commented and said, why don't you do border pair videos anymore? I'm guessing that you're not watching them. If there's a, And if you're not watching them, I'm, I imagine that it's something that I'm doing wrong that I could do better. So let me know. How could I spice things up? How could I make these educational videos more interesting, more educational, or more something that you would actually want to watch? Thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.